All right, so I think today we're gonna spend a little time off the bank. Believe it or not, it's second week of April and there's already fish offshore, which Lake Eufaula has kind of turned into a offshore fishery anyways. But I mean, it's I think it's a little early for them to be out in great numbers, but there's quite a few of them out here already. So got the garments fired up, of course, and we just island around, man, looking for some hard spots looking for some looking for some bait looking for some actual fish anything that might tell on one some fish right on top of it too nothing by the stump water five degrees cooler today that's it I should hit that dock up that I caught that large now. Oh, yeah. It's small. Okay, you got a little fight in you. Oh shoot, I can a boat feel quick, but a little large mouth. Feel for the okie dokie cinco. Ooh, I can have you all kind of hooked. Yeah, it's hooked up. Mm -hmm. All in the lip. Say hello to my camera. Let you go. Oh, little itty bitty dude just had the end of the last tape. That was crazy on the trailer right there. <laughs> Today, you know, this time of year, we admit April, we've had some really hot weather. And uh, it's just a great time right now to fish docks. One of my favorite ways to catch them. I love fishing docks. Right now I'm throwing this chatterbait because it's easy. I can skip it back into those deep, dark places where those big ones hang out. But it's a great place right now because you got all stages of fish hanging out. You got fish that are, except for the spawn, you got your pre-spawners hanging out on docks, you got your post-spawners hanging out on docks. Fish that have just spawned, they come up underneath the, shady of the shadiness of the docks. You got bluegill, shad, all sorts of bait fish going on underneath the docks. They kind of lay up there before they make their move out to the ledges and things like that. There's also some fish out on the ledges right now too. Uh, but docks is like a guaranteed bet. So, you know, you're out on these lakes that are full of docks, fish just finishing up, finishing up spawning or they're spawning still. Docks are an excellent way to catch them. And right now I'm throwing just a, a white jackhammer, um, clear water shad with a white razor shad. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite chatterbait trailer. People ask me all the time. I can skip it so well. That elastic is so buoyant. And it's so stretchy that that bait hits that water and it skips right up underneath they're so great so this is a great bait to throw this time of year you'll catch all phases of fish even spawners believe it or not spawners cannot stand a chatterbait so it's an excellent choice as you can see i can skip that thing way back up in there in those deep dark corners where them big girls hiding Huh? I'm looking here. I'm uh, careful, but I, I caught two fish though. I know. I'm happy too. There we go. That's what happened when you talk trash. Solid. When talking trash goes bad. What you saying, babe? You was whooping me? Yeah. <laughs> but mine's, mine's twice the size of yours. That's about a two and three quarter. Solid one.
There we go. Um, large amount. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. This one is. This ain't nothing. Hell no, it's calm. Finally. <laughs> This was like a great place too. <laughs> it's real shallow, but... All, it's so dark up under there, all the poles. Spotted man. That's a large one. Ain't nothing large about him. Uh. The key is, babe. Okay, perfect cat. Let line out. Keep let line out. Let no, no, don't pull the bait. See, you pull the bait away from the cover. Pull it like this. Pull the line out. Out the reel. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's enough. Flip it over. Now let it sink. The key is keeping the bait close to the cover where they want to be you want you want that cinco the key to the cinco is to fall on a slack line you don't want it to be tight you want it to be slack when it's falling 90 percent of the time that's when they get it all right now tighten up on it slowly slow feel like feel for the bait Drop down, yep. and it was moving fast. I was like, huh? Oh. A big, nice, nice spotted bass. Nice spotted bass. You got it. You got a good, good Right here. <coughs> oh, I seen him. Seen him over there. Put him great big into that though. Say a word. Huh? Who? Oh. What you saying, man? Remember I told you walkways? Kind of, kind of strong. You're kind of strong. Oh, come on here. Get on up in here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. You got it good too, boss. Yeah, it's two and a half pounds. Nothing huge. Skipping docks. Absolutely love it. Got a little sore on him. Yeah. All right, boss. Nah, it's all right. Thank you. Did you? I don't know if you've seen the cast. I I threw in between those two things. 
it was just one of them fluke casts where I, there you go, where I made a really good cast and it was that one. But they like them walkways for some for some reason on this lake. Hey, he hit it so soft, but I felt him. And I was like, mm. What happened is when you keep making them bad casts and splash on water, splash on water, you, you tear the head up. And then when the head tears up, 